Hello everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at the Masterpiece Dragon Kaiser from Takara. This came out in 2005. This is the second Masterpiece um, fig to come out in the Brave series. Unfortunately, it is also the last one. Very nice looking box. Unfortunately, this doesn't have the flip up um, feature that we saw with King X Kaiser, so you can't see the inside, which is unfortunate. But nice picture there of Dragon Kaiser with the Thunder Arrow and Dragon Archer. And then we have the. Um, Dragon Jet, and if you have King Exkyzer, you can break him apart and form Great Exkyzer there. Flip it to the back here. We kind of see kind of the same stuff we saw with King Exkyzer's box. Over here we see all the accessories that he comes with. A little bit of a history of Dragon Kaiser. You can see that Exkyzer can join with Dragon Kaiser. All the little accessories over here. And then we can see that with King X Kaiser, they can form Great X Kaiser. More of a history of the show. A little bit of a bio of the Great X Kaiser there. There's the sweet dragon sword. And the dragon jet mode. Alright, let's take a look at what's inside the box. Alright, here's the inside of the box. It's the same plastic shell that we saw with King X Kaiser. At the top would be the dragon sword, but I actually have it out, so. Here's King Exkyzer's head. He comes with two different chest pieces. There's his body. We have Great Exkyzer's head, the Dragon Archer, the Thunder Arrow, his two guns. Great Exkyzer's chest piece. Um, various hands in the background for King Exkyzer and two fists for um, Great Exkyzer. So, not too bad. On the back there, I'll remove the um, clamshell here. The back is a nice picture of the dragon. Kind of like what we saw with King Exkyzer with the lion, so. Um, let's take a look at the fig now. All right, here's the Dragon Jet. Um, I will be honest up front here. This is the weaker of the two modes. I really don't like what Takara did here. Um, it's a spot-on um, rendition of the original, and we'll compare the original with this guy in a second. And there is some good stuff that Takara did. Um, I do like the paint apps. This nice kind of gold look. I do like the cockpit there that you can actually see inside. And you can see that there's some really nice detailing on the console there. I do like the fact that it has die cast wheels and they are retractable and it rolls nicely. The feet here are die cast and it's got some nice detailing there. But that's pretty much it. Um, absolutely love the robot mode, which we'll get to in a sec. But this mode, I'm, you know, this is supposed to be a masterpiece fig. And if you saw my King X Geyser masterpiece um, review, I kind of talked about what Takara could have done better with like King Loader. There's some stickers missing, maybe a panel here and there just to make it look not so much like a robot. Here. They could have done the same thing. Um, and, you know, Dragon Kaiser, the original, there's really nothing to it either. I mean, you see the robot pretty much spot on. And it's, I mean, yes, it's a very nice, you know, homage to the original. I mean, but here is Dragon Kaiser in Dragon Gem mode, standing straight up. And you can see that pretty much flip this over fold these, you have his, his robot mode, which would have been nice if Takara would have decided to, let's re-engineer this and try and hide this, tuck them in somewhere, um, make, make this flat, something to that nature, and maybe do something with the feet, but here is the original. So again, I mean, it's spot on. I mean, that's that's nice that Takara decided, you know, it's going to be exactly the same look. I mean, you have the hands out, you know, we got that. So we got that over here. Opposed to a sticker now, we actually get a kind of a cool cockpit, actually molded in and all that. And some nice paint apps where we got stickers over here. But at least this part is flat and this part is not. Um, so... That's my biggest gripe, is I wish that Takara would have done a little bit more with 
the engineering on the jet mode just to make it look more like a jet. But let's go to some other features that you can do with the jet here. Now there's a couple episodes and they also featured in the instruction manual that you can actually have. King X Geyser, if you'll stand there, ride them like a sky sled, which is interesting, but I guess if you want, you can display them that way. And you can also take X Geyser here, fold his wings down like so. There's a little part underneath here, flip that up. There's a little peg. And you can peg that on the back of X Geyser's car mode here. And that you can do the same thing with the original, and you can pull it around, which is kind of odd. This is a huge jet, and this sports car is pulling this large jet, but you can do that too if you like. So, all right, let's transform into his robot. All right, first thing, I'm going to retract the landing gears. So there's a panel right there. Flip it up, fold it nicely. I do like that feature. There we go. And the front one we just push back. There we go. All right, now we just stand them straight up and you're pretty much three quarters of the way done. Fold those wings in. Fold this, these panels down. Fold this up and it just locks into place. Now this is kind of a um, difficult part right here. It's, it's not too bad, but you kind of pop this off. Well, you don't have to pop it off, but they do come off. And that's how they're packaged when you first get this guy. But there's a little groove right there that you can kind of see. And there's a little bit of a kind of a mark where you kind of slide it in. So what you're going to do is you kind of just pull it out just a little bit, rotate it around, lock it back into place, push down on the gun. And that releases the hand there. It pops the hand down and box it into place. Do the same thing to the other side. And you have his other hand out. All right, take this part down here, as you can kind of see, and you're gonna rotate it upward. Like, like so, and it just pops into place right there. Now for the head, you're going to take the front of the plane, push that up, and just rotate this out like so and it does connect on the back via right here a little white tab there all right so there is dragon kaiser you can undo his legs there so you can give him a little more um, he looks a little better there all right now that we got him in his robot mode we're going to take this piece that we saw in the beginning and you can rotate this down this is a really cool idea that um, Takara did, which I really love. You can just plug that right in there. And this kind of represents his non-sentinent mode before x Kaiser actually comes into him, which is really, really cool. And there's another little cool gimmick that they also did, but I'll feature that in a second here. So what we're going to do first is this piece right here. We're going to fold it down like so that and then we're going to take the arms and just kind of separate them from the shoulder there like so and then we're going to flip this part up the whole chest piece here like so and you can see that's where we're going to fit X Kaiser all right we're going to take X Kaiser here and he's just going to fit in Again, like so. There we go. Can I see him in there? Flip these back up. Pull this back down. Take these bits around. back on, rotate the arms back around, and 
and we have X Kaiser inside of Dragon Kaiser. And the cool thing about it is now you can, whoops, these are always falling off. There we go. You can flip these pieces up. Or if you want, you can, um, which I usually have, you can just take this piece. And you can see the dragon eyes, pop that up. And then you can see his eyes there. There is a little switch on the back of his head right there. You can just flip up and now he has his green eyes. I thought that was a really cool feature. So, articulation really quickly. He's got rotation in the arms at the shoulder. He can go kind of in and out at the shoulder and then in and out at the arm at the shoulder. Rotation at the bicep, as nice little swivel, double jointed elbow, ball jointed hands there. His legs can go forward and backwards, but it's kind of stiff. You gotta kind of move that panel up, so move his legs up. Again, it's kind of hard to put his feet or his legs forward because all the die cast are in these um, feet right here. So can't really go in and out because of this piece right here. It does have a knee joint and his foot can kind of swivel back and forth and go up and down. So very nice, very poseable, very sweet looking. I mean, take a closer look. Love the face sculpt. The chrome is absolutely gorgeous. Very, very nice. So, let's do a quick comparison with the original. All right, here he is next to the original Dragon Kaiser. And this guy's a pretty large fig, so he's pretty big, which is really nice. Again, kind of like what I was saying with my King X Kaiser, he's missing some of the stickers here and there, like here and there, here and here. But still, I love this metallic paint that they did instead of doing the stickers, which is very, very nice. And I mean, you can see this is yellow. This is nice and chromed. Um, very nice. Here he is next to Masterpiece Starscream. So you can see that he's pretty much on par there. Here he is with Deathsaurus. So you can kind of see him with the Voyager class fig. And there he is next to a deluxe size fig. So, all right, let's take a look at his weapons. He comes with a lot of weapons, which is very sweet. This um, makes this fig so worth it. Now, he has his standard guns that we've seen with the original, but now he does have these shoulder pieces that can actually detach and become, I think they're called dragon claws that he can throw at his enemies which you can't see them on the original, but they don't detach, which is very nice. And he has his main weapon, which is the dragon archer or dragon bow. Um, not really sure the name, but it's this crest piece right here, which basically detached that. And as you saw in the beginning, this accessory becomes the dragon bow. And if you really want, you can um, attach it, but it looks kind of weird like that so you'll extend it out which is very sweet there's a little peg right here that you can kind of see and it just pegs right into his hand and unfortunately it is kind of top heavy and this is kind of like a not the strongest joint so it does support it but it you have to really work with it a little bit here like so and now can take the thunder arrow very very nice this is the thing uh, this is the weapon that the original dragon kaiser should have had but unfortunately we only got this which didn't transform into a bow at all and then we have dragon kaiser about to fire off the thunder arrow very nice looking unfortunately there's no real locking um, mechanism for the arrow there you kind of just have to tuck it into the hand kind of prop it on there 
but still looks very, very nice. Now, if you really want, you don't have to have it in a firing position. You can have them kind of reaching back and you can take the arrow and on the back here, there's a little spot as you can kind of see right there that you can place the arrow and you can kind of be in the back if you want reaching for one which is kind of cool too I like that but, all right let's take a look at his ultimate weapon I guess you could say which is mainly used in the combination with um, X Kaiser when they form great X Kaiser take his fist off here reattach this one here we have the dragon sword very nice looking as you can see very very tall um, let's put the original back in here and we can see that e it's even taller than the original Dragon Kaiser really puts this one to shame having this huge sword very very sweet unfortunately it's it's not really made for Dragon Kaiser, even though I like to pose him with it, it is the the main weapon for Great X Kaiser. But I just want to showcase it here because it actually comes with it, and it's really sweet. You'll see more of it in um, when I do my Great X Kaiser video, because the fists are actually bigger and can actually house the um, or hold the sword a lot better. So whatnot. But I just wanted to kind of show that. So very sweet. All right, final thoughts. Fantastic fig. Absolutely love him. Not so much the Dragon Jet mode. I mean, he's a masterpiece fig. It's like, Takara, come on, you dropped the ball there. But his robot mode is fantastic. I love the fact that I can combine him with my King Excaiser to form Great Excaiser. I love the fact that he comes with a ton of weaponry. We finally get the Thunder Arrow. We finally get the Dragon Archer and the Dragon um, Sword. A decent Dragon Sword. At, well, let's say the ultimate dragon sword. But this guy's hard to find. And he's very expensive. I mean, you're looking at 500 to $700 is um, the prices that I've seen him go for. Totally not worth that much money. This guy's worth probably 250 to 300 bucks. Um, unfortunately, the only way that you're going to get that price is if you can find this guy kind of like in an open auction and not a buy it now. But... If you can find him for that price, he's totally worth it. Um, and unfortunately, like I said with my King Excaiser, if you're really into these figs, the Excaiser series, this guy is easier to find than the original, even though the original will cost you um, less money than this one. So, But very sweet fig. I will be doing the Great Excaiser video here pretty soon. I appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for more. Take care, and I'll talk to you guys later.